everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you're all having a lovely weekend. In today's video, we have a Tali's Nail Art collaboration. The theme today was pink. Now, the collaboration was actually yesterday, but again, I'm late uploading this video as I've just been super busy. But as you can see from the intro, we're going to be doing a pink set and the theme for the collab was pink. And I just thought I would throw a whole heap of pink into this set of nails. So we're going to use some pink acrylic, glitters, foils, and then some pink painted hearts at the end. So I really hope you all enjoy it watching. I'm working on my Glamour Liz practice hand. I have already got my tips and a clear base applied. So we're coming straight in with our acrylic and here I'm using CJP Cherry Blossom Blush. And I'm just using a small bead of this to pop a wash of colour down at that cuticle area just because I'm coming in with a chunky glitter mix so I always find it easier to get the neat cuticle line with the acrylic and then come over the top with my glitter. And I absolutely love Cherry Blossom Blush. It's such a shame you don't really see much of the colour in this video but it's definitely one I'm going to try and use more. Next up, we're using this gorgeous glitter mix from Charlie's Nala. This one is called Sweetheart and it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm pretty much doing a full glitter nail with this glitter, but it's just going to fade out to a slight glitter, sorry, a slight glass tip. So I'm coming in with a small wet bead of my clear acrylic, dipping straight into my raw glitter mix and then popping that down onto the nail. I'm trying to be really careful to get it nice and neat around the cuticle area still. And then I'm just keeping my brush nice and wet with monomer so I can move all of the glitter pieces around, especially with these chunky glitter mixes. You want to make sure you leave enough monomer in your brush that you can pick them up and move them around without too much of it sticking into your brush. And this is such a pretty glitter mix. I love the combination of flowers and hearts in this one because it's one that you could use a lot in spring sets as well. As you can see, I'm starting to fade that glitter out now that we're coming down to the tip of the nail. I still want a little bit of sparkle there, but I want it to fade off into that clear glass tip. And then I'm always just tapping and nudging my glitters around until I'm happy with how they're all placed. So you will see me faff and mess around with it a lot, but then I'm going to leave that to set and we will encapsulate further along in the video. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the little finger. So I picked up a slightly smaller bead of glitter here because the little finger is a little bit more narrower. So I find it easier to work in smaller beads, especially when working with such a chunky glitter mix. But as you can see, I'm applying it exactly the same as before. If I feel like I don't need to add any extra acrylic, I'm just picking up the glitters using my wet brush. And I love that this glitter mix has some blues and iridescent pieces in there as well because it just mixes it up a bit from being a full on Valentine's glitter. Now I did also recently on my channel, I think it was around two videos back, do a Charlie's Nail Art Valentine's haul. So if you are looking to pick up some Valentine's Day inspired nail art pieces, I would definitely recommend checking out that video and checking out Charlie's Nail Art. I do also have a discount code for Charlie, which is ENA10, all capital letters. As always, it's always in the description box below. So if you do order from her site and you pop that code in, you'll get 10% off your order, which is a nice little bonus. With these chunkier glitter mixes as well, sometimes I like to get the smaller, finer hex pieces down first and then just pick up the individual chunky pieces and place them down where I want. Just because that way, you know, with sometimes like the hearts and the flowers especially, I like to have them going down the centre of the nail because that's where I'm going to be putting my apex. So it'll make it a little bit easier when it comes to encapsulating. Moving on to the middle finger, we're doing a full nail of... CJP Tooth Fairy. This is a beautiful pink. It's a soft baby pink, but it has got a slight shimmer to it as well. And I'm just going to apply this in three or four beads. I'm not sure. It's quite a long nail. Um, but I'm just popping down a thin layer of this acrylic because even though it's a strength powder, I like to work my colored acrylics thin and then encapsulate them anyway. So I'm not building up any of my structure really with this color. I'm just getting a nice even layer of acrylic down. 
Now here where it comes to my cuticle bead, I messed up my application a little bit. So I'm just taking my time to wipe the sides of that just to get any product off of what would be the skin. You do really want to avoid doing this when you are working around the cuticle area. You don't want to work too wet that your acrylic is going to run back and flood those side walls and cuticles. But you know, accidents, mistakes, they happen. I'm just blending that colour down so it blends in to the previous beads of acrylic. And I love this colour, it's gorgeous, especially again for Valentine's Day and spring nails as well. And then once again, because this set is pretty simple, both the middle and ring finger are exactly the same as well. So I'm just coming in and doing exactly the same again. When I'm working on such a long nail, I like to come in roughly halfway to three quarters of the way down the nail with that first bead and just sort of get a wash of colour. So I'm starting to get some colour down at the tip area. I don't want my tip to end up too bulky because like I said, we are going to be encapsulating. Then I come in with my second bead and place that down, blend out the back and then pull that down over the previous bead. And then again, that cuticle bead, I'm tapping that up into place at the cuticle and then pulling that down over the previous bead of acrylic again. Once again, I messed up the cuticle application. I couldn't believe that I did it twice in a row. But I just was working a little too wet with this colour, to be honest. CJP is a more medium to dry system. Now we have all of our coloured acrylic and glitter applied. This is what the nails look like. I'm then going to come in and encapsulate them. So I'm going to just encapsulate this first now for you guys. So I run over it with some monomer and I'm working quite wet with my clear acrylic here because of the fact that I'm doing a glass nail. So I'm just placing that wet bead of acrylic down and letting it flow down the nail just so I don't have to pat and press and mold it too much because then I'm not going to pop any bubbles into the acrylic. And then I come in with a more medium consistency bead up at the apex area, just tapping that into place and pulling the top of the bead down the nail. I'm trying to keep my application as neat as possible at the sidewall area just because then I'm going to have minimal filing. And then down at the cuticle area I'm popping a medium sized bead down, really tilting that finger downwards so none of the product flows back and floods the cuticles. And then I'm just tapping it into place and again just pulling the top of that bead of acrylic down. Looking at this now, I felt as though it was a little bit thin when it comes to the structure. So I do come in with a couple more beads of acrylic just to build up the apex and the barrel of the nail a little bit. And then I pop down another bead at that tip area as well, just because I wanted there to be enough product there so that I can file my shape without having to worry about filing into the glitter. Again, trying to keep my side walls nice and neat and not have any of my acrylic overflowing from the sides because then you're going to end up with more filing to do. And it's just a small bead I pop down at the cuticle area, sorry, the tip area, because we want our tip to be nice and thin. And then this is what the nails looked like once I had encapsulated them all. I then went off camera and did all of the filing. So this is what the finished result of that looked like. And made sure to give the nails a good scrub to remove all of the dust. And then on the two middle nails, I'm going to be applying my foils. So I'm coming in with the Nirvana Nail Supplies Goddess Foil Gel. And I'm just applying a thin coat of this to all of the nails. Once I've applied this to all of the nails, I'll pop them in to cure for 30 seconds. And then you're ready to come straight on and apply your foils. Now the foil gel is slightly on the thick side. So I like to make sure I'm really spreading it out to get a nice even application. And then this is the gorgeous foil I'm going to be using. This one's from Charlie's Nala as well. And I don't want full foil coverage on here. So I'm just gently tapping that foil on. And then I'm going to do the exact same again on the other nail. I didn't want to cover the nail too much either because I wanted to be able to see some of that light pink acrylic from underneath as well. But I'm just going over the areas where I have applied the foil just to get a bit of a neater application. To be honest, this foil of mine, the way I had it scrunched up instead of storing it neatly and it has got a little bit damaged so it didn't apply as well as what it could have done. Now I want to do some hand painting over these nails but I want the foils to be matte and my hand painted hearts to be glossy. So I'm coming in first of all with a matte top coat and I'm just going to apply this over these two nails. 
That way my foils are sealed in with the top coat and I've got that matte surface that I want. I then popped that top coat in to cure for 60 seconds and they've come out lovely and matte. So I've then popped down some pink gel polish and I'm going to paint on two simple hearts on these two nails. I wanted the pink gel polish hearts to be quite subtle and match that background pink acrylic colour. So that's why they're quite similar in colour. And here I'm just using a cheap detailer brush that I got from eBay. After recording this video, I got my hands on the new professional brush range from Kiki London. And I have to say, those brushes are absolutely amazing. I can't wait to do more hand painting for you guys now I have those. If you would like to see them, then head on over to the Kiki London YouTube channel as I recently done a launch video for those there. So I will leave the Kiki London channel linked below. So definitely check them out, especially if you looking for some nail art brushes because they are fab but all I'm basically doing here is drawing out a simple heart shape I'm going to do two of these and then pop them into cure so I'll just let you guys watch As I mentioned at the start of this video, this set was done as a Charlie's Nail Art collaboration. If you would like to take part in one of the collabs, then I will leave the Facebook group and the Instagram page linked below. And just head on over, there will be a post letting you know which theme is for the upcoming Friday. And then you just have to create a set of nails based around that theme. The only rule as such is that you use at least one product from Charlie's Nail Art. But they're a really fun way to get involved in doing some nail art. They really help push you out of your comfort zone. And I find they really help motivate me, especially with all the lockdown stuff. It just makes me feel like, okay, this Friday I've got to take part in the collab or I want to take part in the collab. So let me take a look at what the theme is. And then I just end up doing some nails and having fun with it. So definitely check out the page and come and get involved. Once I had drawn both of those hearts, I did pop them into cure for 60 seconds. And here I'm just coming over them again with a second coat of colour just to really make them pop against that matte background because we are leaving these glossy, remember? So we want the gel polish colour to look nice and opaque. So again, I'll just let you guys watch because to be quite honest, I'm really slow when it comes to hand painting. And even though I have sped up the video, there's not really a lot I can say about what I'm doing. But actually, whilst I'm here, let me check in with you all. I hope you're all doing okay. How are you all keeping? I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I know here in the UK, it just got announced that the lockdown has been effectively extended to the 8th of March at least. So it's a bit disappointing news, but at the same time, I think a lot of us did expect it. But I hope you're all coping okay, considering... Once I had finished applying this second coat of colour, I popped these in to cure for 60 seconds. And then I did also do two hearts on the ring finger as well. But again, I did that off camera because it was exactly the same as these two. Now, I've already top coated my foils and got my matte base. But like I said, I wanted my hearts to be glossy. So here I'm just coming in with that same detailer brush and my top coat. And I'm just simply going to top coat over the love hearts, being really careful that I keep it all nice and neat. And then this will just give us glossy hearts over our matte base. And I thought it looked really pretty. It looked quite subtle because of the colour I'd used. But I really liked the effect and how they turned out. Once I've finished applying the top coat, I'll pop this in to cure for 60 seconds. And again, I did exactly the same off camera on the ring finger. And then we, all we have left to do is top coat the pointer and little finger and bring that gorgeous glitter back to life.
I honestly really loved the combo here of matte and glossy because I absolutely love foils matte but I did feel as though I wanted my hearts glossy so I'm glad that I went for that because I thought it looked quite pretty. I'm then coming in and top coating the pointer and little finger so I'm using my CJP tack free top gloss for all of my top coating as you can see I'm coming underneath the nail on the two glass tip nails and top coating underneath as well just to help make them look as clear as possible. I'll then pop these in to cure for 60 seconds and that is the end of the set. So I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up or pop a comment below. If you have any requests of any particular sets you would like to see or any techniques, please do pop them below as well and I'll give them a go. If you're watching and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you hit the subscribe button. Take care, keep safe, and I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Lots of love. Bye-bye.